important for you guys to get the win, get some points, and now entering the final uh, two weeks. But um, have you talked to the team saying, hey, this is what we got to do if we're going to have a shot uh, at, at playoffs? Yeah, you know, we talk about it a little bit, but for us, really, in terms of talking to the team overall, it's about one game at a time. If we get too far ahead of ourselves, we're going to find ourselves in a lot of trouble. And especially with a young group that is very excitable and all that kind of stuff, uh, it sets yourself up for a pretty big drop off if, if you go, okay, well, if we do this and if we do that, then everything's going to be fine. And the reality is, is if we win tomorrow at Sonoma, number 13 in the country, we'll be fine. So that's all we really need to focus on right now. You know, you, you get a win on Sunday, and uh, if you can keep it going, uh, a win against Sonoma, obviously tough uh, going down there and facing a very good team. I don't know would that give you points, but what else would that give you, you know, leading up to your last couple of matches? Yeah, you know, the, the win on Sunday was huge for, for a couple of reasons. One, you know, I think everybody was pretty disappointed in our performance in the second half um, where it just kind of started to crumble a little bit and they got a really big rhythm. And that rhythm for San Francisco State they picked up was because we didn't finish the chances that we had in the first half. Um, to be fair, it should have been 3-0 us in the first half, and it wasn't because we didn't finish. And so then that puts added weight on every single ball in front of goal, more thoughts creep into the kids' heads, and, and that's not what you want. You want to have a nice, clear mind just worrying about kicking it in the back of the net. So to come back with that kind of good team response on Sunday was massive because now that gives us momentum moving forward into Sonoma. It gives us momentum moving forward into Chico. And what's great about this week is we have two really good opponents, two two teams that you know we would check off on our rivalry list for sure. Um, so our girls know what that means, and we also have time to prepare. So you know we're preparing for Sonoma little by little, getting ready for them um, on a short term, but then we'll have three or four days to get ready for Chico, which is really nice. So the ability to get through tomorrow, um, try and get out of there with at least a point, and then to prepare for Chico will be really good. How difficult is that, though, to have a match on Friday, Sunday, and then go back, uh, go on the road and face Sonoma in just a you know a couple days at a time? Yeah, you know, it's a tough turnaround. Um, it's good. Our, our girls love to play, and that's the thing that is so funny. You look at them, you think, oh, man, they're going to be really tired. Maybe they're not going to be up for the match, maybe this or maybe that. And you see them, and they're so fired up, and they're so excited to play because they love the game, and they love each other. And so, yeah, I think that from – the science standpoint of it, this, the fatigue is going to be there, but they love to play so much that I don't think it's going to have as much factor on the game. Now, would we like more time to prepare for the number 13 team in the country? Yeah, absolutely. I think we would like to have a full week to prepare, but it's just not what our conference allows us to do. So um, they've got to prepare for us. We've got to prepare for them. There's nothing different in the timeline between the two teams. So I think it's going to be a really fun matchup. And what have you seen uh, from from uh, Sonoma on video? You know, they're good. They, they, a little bit of a different system than they played last year. Um, you know, a little bit more of a 4-4-2 of the diamond. And, um, but they still throw numbers forward, um, sometimes carelessly. So I think we can take advantage of that situation in the counter if we do a good job. The match tomorrow is going to be decided by what the quality of the surface is. That's the flat-out reality of it. They didn't play either of their games at home this last weekend because of the storm. Um, they've assured me that it's sunny um, in Santa Rosa right now. So. Um, that I think is implying that the field will dry out, but we also play after the guys do. So while the girls will tear apart the field a little bit, the guys are really going to tear that field apart. I mean, you got 180, 210 pound dudes running around, um, cutting hard and taking big divots out. So a little bit of what's going to happen in the match is going to depend upon what the field looks like when we get there. We'll go in with a couple different ideas, um, but if the field's a mud pit, it's going to be a mud pit. And if the field is nice and we can play on it, then we'll knock them, possess it, and if it's not, We'll have to get real direct and we'll have to make the game ugly. So it's going to be an interesting challenge for our girls to adapt and it's going to be fun for us to see what we can do with what we're given. And you're playing Sonoma State? Yeah. How have you guys done against them in the past? We lost to them with five seconds left in double overtime last year. Um, we haven't beaten them in my tenure here, but we've led twice um, and we've had good opportunities. So I think. It's there, you look at the power of the conference, they're a traditional power in this conference. There's not very many programs um, or teams in the country that can flat out say that they beat them. Uh, so it's not one of those things where we're too upset about it, but it's definitely one of the things that we know we can do it. You know, we've led them twice um, in, in late game situations and just haven't gotten the job done. So we think that we can go in there and do something special this time. And then kind of piggybacking off of that, and if I'm inaccurate, I apologize, I haven't gotten onto all your games, yeah. but it seems like you guys are never like destroyed out there. You guys are always hanging in, you're always close, you're always right on the bubble, and I know the team is young, um, and then the difference kind of seems to be like, 
some games you guys can find in the back of the net and then the other games where you aren't getting the win, yeah. it's like you're right there, but you're not taking the shots or you're not finding your chances. What do you think the difference is um, in those games, men- mentality-wise or team-wise? Yeah, it's it's momentum is what it really is. You know, I think you look at some things from the early in the season. If, if we had won a couple more games, if the ball bounced our way a couple games early, you know, you look at especially like the Dixie weekend or even, you know, we lose with, with one minute left, left against SPU, who's a big-time national power as well. And you look at some of those things and you look at some of the finishing that we didn't do and the things that we didn't accomplish, if one of those go in, now the momentum changes. Um, it takes a lot of pressure off of the girls. And when you have young kids with not as much experience and a lot of pressure, you see them in front of frame and you just watch their minds run wild with all the things that could possibly happen. And so that's where the goal that we scored, that Bridget scored on Sunday is big. You know, you look at we put the four away against Holy Names the other day. And if we can get a goal early, this group really gets going. So it's getting that momentum back and making sure it's rolling on our side. So you think when the girls kind of are thinking, they're you know having a little more time to think about what they're doing, that's where it's kind of having the breakdown when the shot's on goal. And yeah, the they would think a lot less. I think we do a lot better. Um, no, it's just the reality. I mean, you're in front of frame. There's so much pressure yeah. um, in those moments. And, and you have young kids without as much experience. And so the pressure hits them. And a lot of thoughts run through their heads. But if they would just sit back and do what they do naturally, will be fine and that's what we've been really preaching to them trying to put them in situations where they don't have to think as much um, because the the opportunities are there the, we're playing really good football they're knocking the ball around we're stretching teams we're getting in behind and it's just the final piece that's there um, and there's a lot of quality there's a lot of good quality so it's there and it's close the one goal could lead to a lot and the reality is if we get it done tomorrow we might not lose again for a long time